Hi all, my name's Jamie Bazina from SNR Pro. Most of you guys know me from uh, basically turbocharging motorcycles and doing crazy things with bikes and cars. Um, well, this is what I do for a hobby. A lot of people probably don't realise this, but this is uh, my off-the-grid solar setup. It's only 1.5 kV. Um, basically, there's a combination of 125-watt BP solar panels as well as 80-watt uh, solar panels. Or running on 12 volt converted to 240 volt. Now it's a pretty much it's a five bedroom house. Um, all the houses with Cree LED lights, even our floodlights are LED. Um, the whole solar setup runs the pool pump, pretty much everything. Um, what we have, we have sorry about the sun people, is one 300 watt wind turbine. It's basically obviously when it's windy, we Hundred and three hundred watts at around. Um, I have seen fifteen twenty amps out of it. Um, here's a shed I put up from Strapco. Me and Rupert go put it up. Basically, what we've got in here, we've got um, obviously a lot of batteries. As you can see, there's actually uh, twenty batteries at a hundred and ten amp hour each. Okay, what we've got here. This is basically our circuit board or circuit breakers from the solar panels so i can basically isolate the solar panels if i have to work on them basically they the solar panel power comes in here which goes through this um meter panel that's the 12 that's the volts we've got at the solar panels at the moment that's the amps we've got coming in on a good day you will see about 27 volts here and about 85 amps goes through here which is our shunt which basically that's how the meter all works it tells us what we're going in what we've got over here is a blocking diode. It's basically like a one-way valve. So um, at night, the solar panels can't discharge the batteries. It's rated 170 amp. It's a Coleman Air one from the USA. And then we have a Coleman Air um, solar regulator. Rated at 440 amps. At the moment, it's 11.7, but it is early in the morning. And we generally don't get good sun here till about 10 o'clock on. Um, and this normally sits around at 13.8 on a full day and when it does get fully charged up the batteries I've got a dump here which will automatically dump my excess power not back to the grid but it will dump into, into my hot water system which keeps my hot water topped up and then down here we have the power star pure sine wave inverter slash battery charger um, that basically converts everything from 12 volt to 240 volt um, on the other side here is the main circuit board bloody noisy bikes <laughs> um what we have here um basically this is our uh, when we're on solar if i can switch to the grid if i want to just by flicking the switch over to here um as you can see the meters barely moving which is the way i like to see it um on the right hand side here this is basically all the, again all the circuit breakers for the solar. Everything in the whole house runs on solar except for the stove and the septic. I am planning to switch the stove onto gas as well, and and hopefully the hot water system when I get a few more funds coming through. Um, over here we have again all the main circuit boards again for the house themselves, the stuff that's running on the grid. If I do have a few bad weeks of no sun at all, I can actually flick the switch here which will turn the solar inverter into a 75 amp hour charger, which will top up my batteries. Um, as I said before, this is a fairly, well, it's only a 1.5 kV system. It is running on 12 volt, converted to 240 volt. A lot of people have told me you can't do it this way, but obviously I'm pretty sure I've proven it wrong. I've had a problem and that's with two teenage kids and a uh, I tell you that teenage girls, I should say, leaving bloody lights on and hair dryers and the other typical crap you have. Um, and it runs pretty much everything. I don't run, feed anything back to the grid. I believe they are, a, oh, this is my personal thing, I think they're a waste of time. My sister's got her on grid set up, she's spent just on 15 grand on and she still gets power bills. Um, I get no power bills at all and um, I'm quite happy with that. And it's uh, the setup is. Look, to be honest with you, it's, only, it's probably owes me about um, 
eight to ten thousand dollars. Um, but as I said, I don't never get a blackout, never get no power bills, and I'm quite happy with that. And pretty much, I said that runs the whole house and everything. Um, hope you enjoy.